Hey, what's going on guys? Got a lot to talk about. Uh, I've made some videos and I just haven't edited, edited them yet. Wow, that was a... What's up YouTube? Got a lot to talk about today. I have quite a few videos that I made but I haven't edited them yet and I have not obviously posted anything. But a lot's happened with the tank. Um, the tank is fully cycled. As you can see, I got my little damsel in there. I started the tank off with some uh, Biospira. Let that sit overnight, went and got this damsel. He's doing really good. And I've been dosing the tank every day with Microbacter 7. And I've been testing every night. Went and got a new test kit when I moved. I threw them all away. I've been testing every day. Everything is looking good. I had a little shot of ammonia, a little bit of nitrite, and then it has all gone away since. The little damsel guy has been doing pretty good in here. Um, started feeding him a couple of days ago. He was in here about a week before I started feeding the tank. And then I added five blue leg hermit crabs. So the tank is, uh, <clears throat> in my opinion right now, uh, cycled. Not exactly 100% ready for coral just yet, but um, I think I'm gonna pick one up this weekend. We'll see what happens. Um, changed a couple of things. Well, not really changed a couple of things, but I added some stuff to the, uh, to the tank. Um, one, you can see here, I got a couple of vinyl tubes coming up. Um, the little guy here is for the auto top off. And then these other two are for the media reactor. Um, what I did was I teed off of the return pump that usually feeds this nozzle here. And I teed off so I still feed the nozzle and I also feed the reactor as well. So this is my inlet for the reactor and then this one here is the discharge for the reactor. And uh, I got the reactor mounted underneath the stand here. And it's the BRS dual reactor. And uh, I want to run some carbon and GFO if need be, but mainly I want to run carbon um, just because I like running carbon. So that's uh, pretty much the only thing there that's different. Um, let's see. I'm going to be getting rid of the MP10s. I, I keep trying these damn Vortec pumps and I'm just not a fan of them. So pretty much done with them. What I'm going to be doing is investing in a uh, max spec gyre, gyre, whatever you call them and getting that in here. I saw them in my boy D, uh, CJ's um, tank and I really like the uh, flow pattern that they put out in his tank. So that's what's going on with this. And now I'll take you into the garage. I'm just trying to kind of update on everything. My house is still a freaking mess from the holiday. So take you into the garage. I'll show you what I got done out here. And it is the roadie system. This is all the uh, reef equipment. I condensed it down some. <laughs> this is everything that I'm keeping. What I can't find is I have two more of these LED lights and I have no idea where they are. Anyways, here is the RO setup. I got the RO system suspended from a two x four that's drilled into the studs. And uh, it's the six stage guy. Um, I tried to mount everything as cleanly as possible as far as the RODI equipment. Um, so I have a feed tube that comes in here from my hose bib in my backyard. And if you guys are ever looking to like extend your lines or whatever that feed the RO or your wastewater or whatever, go to Home Depot and get drip system line. I got this in black because I don't have the line buried. It's running just down the side of my house and I didn't want algae to build up inside of the clear tubing and whatnot. And buying the colored stuff off BRS or whatever, you know, stuff that's actually meant for like RO systems, it's super, super expensive. It would have cost me like over 50 bucks just for this kind of tube. So I went and got the drip system line. It's the same exact stuff. And this is what they use for drip systems. So I got that running out. I have fresh air vents in my garage and I got the wastewater and the supply water running in through there. Zip tied everything so it looks kind of nice. And I got my on off valve here so I can turn the system on and off. I got the flush system here and everything's mounted so it doesn't move too much when I'm using it. And that's that, yeah. Get the TDS meter. And then I just finally finished up the um, uh, water tanks. Uh, built a little stand. Again, I got a video coming of like when I built this crap, but um, it's gonna all be pretty much fast forward stuff. So anyways, um, I know it's ugly, but what I did is I recycled just about everything from the old RO system uh, or the old mixing station. And if you remember, I had the big tank on top and the little tank on the bottom. So 
as you can see I reversed everything here so I had to kind of modify it a little bit like the only thing I'm really unhappy with is this here and I just don't have the plumbing parts and I don't really care to go get the plumbing parts for it but ideally what I'd like to do is just dump it straight down and kind of where that that ball valve is but I don't want to go buy another ball valve or anything like that so this is gonna work it's out of the way um, when the wife parks her car in here you're not gonna be able to see any of this and it's gonna work and that's all I needed to do so I mean how it works basically is uh, when I need to get water for the top off as I open the bottom valve there it's gonna travel through the pump I'll leave that valve off and open that one and that's gonna feed you know fill my container and then if I need to fill this container up I'll close that valve open that valve open that one and then it'll fill this container up to where I need it and then I'll close that valve open that one open that one and then that'll circulate the uh, salt mixing tank so it's gonna work it's just kind of crude it's a little ugly I wish I could have done this part right here a little bit more streamlined everything else is pretty streamlined I have the pump kind of all cattywampus like this because I just need it out of the way of the car when it's parked in here and if I had it shooting out here it would have it made the wife uncomfortable so I just kind of bloop did that so that's what's going on with that I just did fresh DI resin in both of the uh, cartridges these ones here I I didn't even change them because I didn't make that much water with this system before I moved so yeah I think the only thing that the downside is that I didn't think about when I switched the tanks up um, is it's gonna be kind of hard to get the salt up there but I'll get that figured out when when I need to so that's uh that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna go get I think a couple of Zilla frags this weekend throw them in the tank see how it does and then uh, probably a month from well today basically uh, we'll start loading that tank up with a couple more fish and then we'll get some corals we'll get our LPS a couple more Zoas and then down the road some SPS I can't wait to get back into my SPS all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one